How would you like to have a robot put away your toys, pick up your laundry, and make your bed? At Stanford's new robotics lab, students from all over the world are building robots to do exactly that. This is uh, uh, the robotics of the future. Hello, my name is Armar Seven. Need help in the kitchen? This one is willing to lend a helping hand. Our mission is really to develop robotics for humans, for people, and for the planet. These robots are designed to pick up everyday household items, make life accessible for people who may not be accessible. Don't believe me? It's holding my phone right now. People who have trouble, like they get tired a lot and it's physically uh, like a lot of exertion uh, for them to clean up the house, this would be a very, very good help. Cameras are placed all around each room and they work as sensors for the robots. Students build the robots and then program them to complete the tasks. The user can give a few examples of where different items should go. So for example, throw a, a dark blue shirt into the black bin. But it's not just about making home life better. Some of these robots might change the future of medicine. So the first way is it can tumble around like this. Jack Bernardo is testing a magnet-powered capsule that might change how doctors do surgery. Strokes in the brain, uh, you could navigate the robot up to there and then use that suction force to take apart the clot to help kind of move it uh, from where it is. Some are being tested to mimic household pets. Others are learning basic human movements. All are centered behind the goal of making our lives better. It is just a new era for bringing those technologies to human and to assist human uh, and also to, to deal with the challenges of our environment. If you thought robots were a thing in the future, check again.